Hello. So, uh, <laughs> so, yo, so I'm on uh, Skype here with Tanaya here. Say hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, I wanted to do this video real fast because um, it's late and it's like 11.30. It's not too late for me, but uh, I'm about to go to sleep and so is Tanaya, but I want to shoot out this video real fast before I forget tomorrow. And um, this is basically to dedicate slash review slash um, update you guys on my iBeats because I did a unboxing and I think I did a review but this is an overview um, and I think when I when I unboxed those I already had a pair back in December but the control talk broke in half and um, I got mad and I think the thing I said in the video was like oh it's probably a manufacturing error well um, I call bullshit because um, I I was wearing, I was using these today, and it was only like halfway up, because the noise canceling. I don't, have to, I don't have to turn it up like really loud, but like the whole the right earbud just blew out, and um, I, that I don't think that's cool. Yeah, so far you've had two problems in just two months. Yeah, that's and, and that's bullshit, cause I've had skull candies, and I had skull candy FMJs that lasted shit four or five months at the price of Same sixty here. bucks. So, um, and I guess you get what you pay for here, because they are $100, but they're the cheapest Dr. Dre's out there, <laughs> and I think they're just to get you into them, and say, hey, look at these great sound quality, you get a two-year warranty, because these are shit, so here you go. So you get what you pay for, I suppose. Um, but, that pisses me off. But, uh, since I get my two-year warranty and I get my 100 back, I've decided to put up another 50 uh, I think this is probably going to go through if they have them. And I'm going to put up the extra 50 and go to the tours. Because that takes away two problems, which I, I think this is going to help. Is one, the earbuds were a little loose on the iBeats. Uh, if you change them off to get your size, they kind of got a little loose. Uh, kind of fall in and if, out if you put them in like your pockets or something. or I don't know, it's just weird, but... Also, the control talk, because I would be sitting in class, and I would move, and it would hit play on the control talk, and you would just hear my headphones out of nowhere. And I'd train my battery, too, which isn't, a, in like, by 1% for a whole hour of class, but, I mean, still, that's that's stupid. Um, <laughs> so, wait, the tours, the tours don't have mics, The right? tours don't have mics, and I think they do, but they're an extra 50, so that'll be 200, but I'm not doing that. If I wanted to pay 200 bucks, I would buy the solos. That would be no doubt for me. Um, but the tours are like the big brother, I think, to the the little eye beats. And they don't look as flashy, but I mean, my eye beats got banged up and they look nice, but they look close and they got really dented and, and uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I really don't. But, um, mm, I don't think. Get me wrong, they're nice headphones. Yeah, they, they are great headphones, but. I think they're a starter pair. They're like when you buy Skull Candies and they and you start with ink and then you're like, oh, well, these are cool. I'm going to go up to fucking, I don't even know what's up next. It's like Smoking Pretty, Buds. And then, either that or they break and you don't want to buy them anymore. Yeah. You get Sony's because Sony's are awesome. Right. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> and I was uh, told to buy Sony's and I was like, you know what? My birthday's coming around in December and that was my whole thing. I was like, for my birthday, I want iBeats, because they were the cheapest Dr. Dre's. I didn't even hear about them, but I saw them. I was like, 99 bucks for Dre's? That's what I'm talking about. And then <laughs> I thought the first problem was going to be it, and that just didn't go through. And uh, if they ever blew out, I knew I was going to get another pair, but I thought the solos were 150 for some reason. So I was like, oh, I'm going I'm to spend extra 50, get the solos. No, they're 200. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to the tours, and I like in ear buds over uh, the over ear, because I don't know where else I would put them in class, just around my neck. I don't really like that, you know. Uh, I don't know. So when did you when did you have um, an idea to get these? I mean, like, when's the next? When are you planning to get them? Tomorrow. Uh, it looks like, cause I'm not gonna walk around school or not just school, cause no one will notice the other ones blown out, but like. Me personally knowing that the other one's broken out and I can't put it in my ear only for like noise canceling. 
You know, that's it's stupid. Only one size or only one side works. So, um I don't know, and I heard the the bass was better and uh uh they were louder and just a lot of different things, but I, I wanted to get rid of the control talk. And you're like, well you're spending an extra fifty bucks for these to get rid of the control talk. Well, yeah, and that and the tangle free cord, which I know is a big problem for me. <laughs> so uh, and the hard shell case, because you only get this little crappy plastic rubber one with the eye beats, and it doesn't even have anything to hold it over. Like, you just put it in there, and they have an option to fall out, depending on how you put them in there. This, it zips up. So, uh, I think I got a pouch like that with my Skull Candy FMJs, and I think I still have it, but, you know, I, I don't know. Hey, how do these sound if you're, like, if you're more of, like, a rock or a metal guy? I heard they sound good, and uh, a lot of people said, well, the bass is okay, and they're, they talked about how they listen to metal, and then the people, the other reviews I saw were like, oh, the, the bass is a lot, and they said they listen to rap. So that tells you that these are the same as the iBeats in a way that they're going to fit to the way you listen to music, and um, that's what I loved about the iBeats, but um, I I don't know. I think I, looking back, you know, it's just kind of a... I don't know what I don't know what went wrong with them. I don't know what I did to them to to fucking flip out on me and shit. But uh, that was whatever. But I guess uh, that's the way it's gonna go. And I no I I didn't. Well, when I bought Skull Candies, I don't think I had FMJs. I had Titans. Yeah, I had Titans. Well, that that was the shit. I had those for a good three to four months. And then they broke, and I was gonna go return them with a warranty, and they didn't. They didn't have them in stock anymore. They don't even sell Titans anymore. I don't think. I thought they did. Uh, yeah, but at my best, at the Best Buy, I bought them at, because like you can oh, only get them at the Best Buy you get them at. I, I've never gone to Target for them, but I, I think that's where you usually get yours, right? Because I know I go well, to Best Buy. No, I went to Best Buy. That's where I got the my last Sony pair, which lasted oh. me for like six months already. Yeah, and I don't think it has anything to do with the way I took care of these, um, because I clean them out almost every day, and I clean out my ears and make sure I didn't get earwax, because that's the number one problem with ear in earbuds. But um, no, I, they just did it. So uh, I guess we'll see how these tours work out, and if the tours go down, I uh, I don't know, because uh, you know. It, Spending 150 on headphones is probably going to be my limit, cause uh, that's kind of a a pain in the ass. Even with these warranties they give you, it's still you know they should make these things better. So what would you say about the Beats you got? Would you recommend them or no? I would recommend them for somebody who has the money to buy them, and to keep them flourishing. Like for people who are just gonna go and buy them for a starter pack, that's a good idea, but for people who are going to go out and buy them and be like, oh, these are the best pair of headphones I'm going to have, yeah, these are the best pair of headphones you're going to have for a couple months, if you're lucky, and then you got to know how to use them, and the control talk is just buggy as hell, and it looks, it's it's faulty, and it's not very well built, and the uh, cord gets really tangled, and I don't know, there are so many problems with it. I don't know, but I would recommend them for someone starting out with these, and for, uh, you know, that was going to be my limit, but I think I'll go with the tours and see how it works out. So. Well, good luck with that. All right, yeah. So we're hitting nine minutes on this thing, so. Uh, yeah, we'll wrap this up now. All right, yeah, so um, I'm just going to straight post this up probably tomorrow, so uh, this will probably go to the side next to my Dr. Dre tours unboxing, which I will do, and I will see you guys later, so. Bye-bye. Peace out.